concussion awareness is something that everybody is learning about and we've learned a lot over the last few years doing our research with the Veterans of America and with some of the football players in the NFL and we've found a way to develop next strength to help at least reduce the risk of injury and concussion. Studies have shown that strengthening the neck can help stabilize the head in the event of a collision. Here are the three best exercises you can do as a soccer player to develop neck strength to help prevent the concussion. The most important thing that you want to remember when doing these exercises is to keep everything slow and controlled. Yeah, now let's go ahead and lie down here on your back. Your legs are going to be in the hook line position, so knees bent, feet flat on the ground. Keep that flat, that should not move. And then, with your arms, we're going to make a goal post. Okay, so we're right here, elbows bent 90 degrees. Again, those are not going to move. If your hands come off at any time doing these exercises, we know that you're not using your neck, you're using your abs, or you're using your shoulders. The first thing that you're going to do before we start doing any movement is you're going to press your tongue into the roof of your mouth. While pressing your tongue into the roof of your mouth, slowly tuck your chin all the way up into your chest, hold for two seconds, and back down. All the way back up, nice and slow. Hold for two seconds and bring down even slower. There you go, good. Everything very slow, very controlled. Good. So the tempo here should be a three, two, one tempo. All that means is you're going to lower the head on three counts. You're going to raise the head on two counts and you're gonna hold for a second before going back down. Good, relax. You wanna do about two sets, two to three sets of 10 to 12 reps on that exercise. The next, the next exercise that you wanna do, we're just going to lift the head, bring that nose all the way up to the ceiling as high as you can, and back down. Again, we're working on that three, we're, again, we're working on that three, two, one tempo. Nose comes all the way up, all the way back down, without lifting the arms off the ground. If you're doing this right, you're going to feel the muscles on the front side of the neck start to burn a little bit. This is called a neck bridge. You can use a bench at the gym, you can use a bench out there on the field, you can use a couch cushion at your house. What you want to do, Yael, is place your head onto the bench so that nothing but the top of your head is touching the bench. Everything should be above your ears. Good. In the beginning, use your arms to help you out with this, okay? Use your arms to push yourself up. Chest should be parallel to the ground. Chin should not be tucked. Chin should not be looking up. It should just be even. We're gonna hold that for about 10 seconds and then back down. Good. Again, yell as you come up. Don't tilt your chin up. We just wanna keep everything even. One more time, use your arms to help you. Chest comes up, everything parallel to the ground. You should start to feel this in the back of your neck, and then back down, good. As you get better, start to progress to longer sets instead of 10 seconds, work your way up to 15 seconds or 20 seconds. You wanna work your way up to about 60 seconds total. The next exercise is a two-part move. The first move is to draw your elbows back as far as you can to a 90 degree angle. Now you're going to externally rotate, all the way up, back down, and all the way out. Back, up, down, and out. As you're doing these, you want to keep perfect posture and keep your shoulders depressed so that you're not shrugging up towards your ears. Perfect. For questions or to request an individualized program, contact Chris directly on his website www.trainergores.com Subscribe to the Y Football channel to catch the videos from this series as we release them and for more content on how to reach the top of your game.